All right, welcome back everybody. November 10th, run streak day 38. 5K a day streak, 35. It's windy, it's about to get really rainy. I had to just kind of wake up, slam down a cup of coffee and run out the door. It's gonna be thunder and lightning and wind and rain all day. But I have about a 20 minute window right now where I can hopefully fit a 5K in. Legs are feeling good after the seven miles yesterday. So no complaints there, no stiffness, no soreness. Everything's good so far. So knowing how kind of wet and nasty it was gonna to be today, I uh, I rushed when I got dressed. I'm a little overdressed at the moment. It's almost 70 degrees right now. Looks pretty gross out here, but it's warm. I probably should have just worn the one layer. Oh well. <laughs> Okay, it has started. The rain has started to come down a little bit. Wind has picked up. I haven't seen any lightning or heard any thunder yet, but that's coming as well. So hopefully we beat that anyway. <laughs> nice morning for a run though. The breeze is keeping it a little cooler, not so muggy, so I don't mind it. like they're working on getting this uh, skating rink ready for the winter today is supposed to be the last pretty much the last warm day for quite a while after today it's gonna drop down into the 30s then into the teens so trying to enjoy it while I can we were gonna go somewhere and run today but it's just gonna be rainy and muddy by the time we get anywhere fun so Figured I'd just run downtown. Okay, so we're done with our run. It ended up being 3.4 miles. So a nice short run today, easy run. Kept the pace pretty slow. I'll put the Strava information up here. I was actually hoping to keep the pace a little bit slower than it even was. I wanted to do like nine to nine and a half minutes per mile, just kind of like as a recovery run after yesterday's longer run. Um, but because I wanted to you know, beat the weather, so to speak, and get home before I got drenched, I ended up going uh, doing an 840 pace today. So not super fast, but uh, not as slow as I wanted to either. Either way, legs are still feeling good. All right, Inga's Fitbit replacement watch came, so she's gonna try this one out and hopefully it doesn't give her the same problems with restarting itself during the run. If you're somebody who has a Fitbit though and you've ran into similar problems, post them in the comments below. Let me know, is it just a Fitbit thing? I know I owned one for a little while, but I really didn't use it. I still stuck with my Garmin. I ended up selling my Fitbit. We're doing a little bit of experimentation in the kitchen today. I'm working on a hummus recipe, roasted red pepper hummus. I'm using the uh, Forks Over Knives cookbook as my base, but their hummus recipe in there is just a basic plain, like garlic hummus recipe. So I added some roasted red peppers. I gotta tweak it a little bit, 
but I think I mostly got it down, so I should have maybe this video out tomorrow. Okay, so I'm gonna be making some uh, banana blueberry oat bars here today. I wanted to make some oat bars just because we've been eating a lot of like oat bars, energy bars, things like that lately. And I wanna get back to just making them myself instead of buying the prepackaged ones. Number one, to save money, but number two, they're a little bit healthier this way, obviously. So our ingredients, we just have two bananas chopped up there. Then we have one tablespoon of, excuse me, one tablespoon of flaxseed, ground flaxseed. I have two tablespoons of almond milk. If you don't wanna use almond milk, you can use a different plant-based milk or you can use water, it's totally up to you. I have half a cup of blueberries here. I have a quarter cup of agave. And then I have a cup and a half of oats. These are the quick oats. So the first thing we're gonna do is blend our bananas with our blueberries and our agave and almond milk in the food processor. Just kind of make like a little bit of a smoothie out of it to mix in with the oats basically. Okay, that looks good. All right, we got our oat bar mixture in the glass dish here. We're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. We'll check it at 25. All right, here we go, fresh out of the oven. It only took 25 minutes, didn't need to go 30. So 25 minutes at 350. You can see the bits of blueberry in there. The oats rose up a little bit as they cooked, so it got a little fuller in the pan. Smells amazing. We're gonna let it cool down for a while before we uh, cut it up and remove it from the pan there. Okay, there we go. Got the oat bars out of the pan there. I didn't use any grease on the pan. I also didn't line it with parchment paper, but you can definitely do that. I didn't actually have a hard time getting them out of there after I let it cool down. But if you have a pan that maybe is sticky or whatever, and you think it's gonna be trickier getting these out, then you can always use a little bit of oil or parchment paper. Either way, these are looking pretty good. There you can see the uh, inside with all that blueberry and banana goodness in there. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that. I wanted to get a little bit of content in today since I didn't capture much when I was running. Either way, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video and you want to see the run streak continue. Hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed and you want to support this channel. Ring the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I drop a new video. Until next time, everybody, take care.